This will be my first bearing replacement on my Jado 3.3. This will be for the front suspension using these generously supplied parts from Boca Bearings. Uh, the bearings we'll be using today are these sets here. They're Orange Seal Apex 7, Grade 5 ceramic balls. I hope to have the front uprights replaced on my steering bell crank in here as well as the bearings from here. I have already upgraded the clutch bell with steel bearings and have recently discovered that they are now seizing causing my car to drift to one side. As you can see these are the standard Traxxas blue sealed bearings you can get at your local hobby shop. So today I should demonstrate step-by-step step the replacement of the front suspension bearings. So the front suspension has now been removed. I will be taking the bell cranes out. As you can see, this exposes the bell crank system here. You'll notice the upgraded drag link here. I will be replacing these plastic uh, bell cranks with new aluminum ones so that the new bearings have a nice home to sit in. Stay with me for the next step bearing one out here. Is, um, these plastic bell cranks will be removed and at the bottom of these bell cranks there will be two bearings such as was the same for the cover. To remove these bearings, we carefully use one of the pins to slide them out, trying not to elongate the holes. Once those old bearings come out, we put them aside. In fact, a quick test of these steel bearings, which were just replaced, they show already signs of wear, causing the, these the steering to uh, drift to one side. These ones here we won't remove. Uh, we're just going to replace the cover with a new one. So with this we have to, these are the new, I should point out, these are the new Boca bearings. Uh, I've cleaned them. Uh, the only cleaner that I trust with it is an industrial dye cleaner. For all the Canadian viewers, you can find this at Canadian Tire. It is the only dye cleaner that I trust. I'm sorry for the American viewers. I haven't found a brake cleaner that does not damage rubber or plastic or silicone for that matter. I would spray this on the surface of a brand new car and I won't, uh, I won't have any uh, trust issues with it damaging the paint. So these bearings will now be lubed with Boca's Lightning Lube. Uh, once that's been uh, lubed, I'll assemble it all and I'll show you the final product. Thanks. So this is going to be a simple procedure and notice this is the drag link here. I've warmed it up to 350 degrees and I'm going to use one of the socket sets here pushing the bearing out gently without damaging the drag link and a socket. This is the Traxxas bearing drag link. It's the uh, aluminum drag link. So by heating up the drag link I was able to extract the two bearings when replacing the bearings, I typically use something of similar diameter like this uh, upright. That way it keeps the bearing in straight and it won't bind. Uh, if you'll notice, it, it just keeps it all nice and straight and just slides right in. These are precision bearings. They fit beautifully and uh, I'm very excited to start using them. Oh, and by the way, the, um, the bearings that I removed from the drag link, this upgraded drag link, were actually seized. And that's only been after a year's use. So if that says anything about ceramics, uh, that's definitely a, uh, a bonus with the ceramics. I won't have to worry about that. So as you can see, all the bearings here have now been replaced. I've used the Boca Lightning High Speed 
uh, lightning loop to assemble them. I've pressed them into place here. Uh, this is the Traxxas drag link. I will be reusing that. I will not be reusing the old. Instead, you can see the new aluminum. Uh, I've taken out all the old bearings, and now I'm going to apply uh, dabs of this lightning loop into uh, this really neat dispenser here. I'm going to apply some on the bearings to make sure that they function 100%. These ceramic bearings are really smooth. The video doesn't do it justice. Uh, there is uh, phenomenal movement. Uh, okay. The bell cranks have now been reassembled. The new drag link has been reassembled and I can't say enough at how smooth the steering is. There is no backlash. It is extremely smooth, I expect a lot of good improvement in my uh, steering trim. Uh, you'll notice too that the servo saver spring has been set. Uh, that interface right here, uh, if I can get it here, this interface right here of the, uh, uh, the servo saver spring, I added a little bit of grease to it to keep it moving. I do have, um, I do have a high torque uh, servo. However, I don't want that energy going back in case I hit the curb. But the movement here, man, I am thrilled with this movement. It's excellent. So we're uh, replacing the front wheel bearings uh, today. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the front wheel with my seven millimeter socket. This exposes the, the bearings here. These are the factory bearings, both of them. I use an old shaft, an old shaft that I have to remove the one set by gently moving it out. So with that comes a little space here that's in between. I'm going to set that aside and I'll put the shaft back in and pop the other one out. So now that I have both factory bearings removed, I'll set them aside and I want to replace them with my new uh, Boca bearings. Uh, so these, these ones have been cleaned and they've already been pre-oiled with the lightning lube um, with this handy little dispenser here. You'll notice to open the dispenser you have to twist the cap to expose the oil uh, in the center there. So to assemble it, uh, we're going to do the same thing in reverse. We're going to take the previous shaft. The reason I do that is a nice fit on the bearings. And we're going to press it in to the wheel. Then I will drop the other sleeve, spacing sleeve in here. Do the same thing here. Line it up. You see here, so now I'm going to put the shaft in there. And I'm going to drop this bearing in front. This one I use a little trick uh, with the existing socket that I just used. And I'm just going to gently work it in. Don't force it because you don't want to bind it and cause uh, scoring inside the plastic. Uh, rim. So once that's assembled, I will put it back on the vehicle. Make sure it spins freely. It's important to check that it spins freely after you tighten the nut. I hold on to the uh, hub carriers in the back, the string blocks, so I don't twist my ARs. Again, check that it spins, which it does beautifully. By the way, these wheels are balanced using a propeller balancer, and it allows you to run super high speeds without vibrations being transferred up the A-arm and into the shocks, preventing the suspension from working properly. Okay, there you have it. Wheels have been, bearings have been replaced on the wheels. <laughs>